Ender Pool. And what will happen now is the flag detail is processing in to retrieve the flag. They'll unfold and then fold. And the presentation of the flag will be given, one will be given to Tracy, his wife of more than 20 years, who's sitting with his daughters. And the other two will be given to Master Deputy Collins's parents. little bit of a digitizing there, but we don't want to leave this part. This is such a profound moment.
This is a call to attention for uniformed personnel. There'll be a rifle detail and then taps. And then this extremely emotional moment where they play the last call for this fallen officer. We now ask that all sheriff's office personnel and those uniformed outside agencies please be excused. As this memorial service comes to a close, they will actually allow for the Johnson County Sheriff's Office, the deputies and uniformed personnel to leave. Um, the remains of Master Deputy Brandon Collins will then be escorted by the pal pallbearers and honor guard uh, with the bagpipes and then the family. Uh, everybody will wait until they have left as well. The family, just in the interest of reading their statement, they said we would like to express our sincere gratitude for the outpouring of support and many heartfelt thoughts and prayers our family has received since our tragic loss. 
Brandon was a devoted and caring husband, father, son, brother, uncle, and friend. Uh, Brandon's love and compassion for his family, friends, and the community he served will never be forgotten. A couple of times we've heard from families today and heard uh, really great stories where uh, Brandon Collins' nicknames appear to be Rat Patrol and just simply Collins. Um, and you heard the pastor there explain that if anybody in the community, families, children, uh, anybody who has been served by the Johnson County Sheriff's Department or an officer has any words of encouragement for this family, the um, reverend said that our lives all go on. Tomorrow's a new day, but for this family, this doesn't go away. And so they suggested, if you'd like to send a note, you can send that to the Johnson County Sheriff's Office and they will make sure it gets to the family. And so we wanted to give you the address, make it real easy for you. We'll leave this up for just a second uh, so that you can um, finalize your viewing of this memorial service today, 125 North Cherry Street. It's also in the phone book if you're a phone book person and you can be found online if you're more of a mobile person or a, an online person. But that's where you can send your direct notes to this family who will then, at their own time, read your words of encouragement or thanks. At this time, this ends our coverage of this memorial service for Master Deputy Brandon Collins with the Johnson County Sheriff's Department who was hit by a driver during a routine traffic stop on 69 South, uh, right at about 151st Street in uh, Johnson County. We will have much more coverage throughout the day of this event and uh, the developments in this case, as well as other day's news coming up in about 18 minutes for you at the start of the Now KC, also online. For now, we'll send you back to regular programming. I'm Krista Dubell with 41 Action News.